okay so uh, we know how the indexing in array works so let uh, let us uh, create an array of uh, random integer and add the uh, values at the odd index and the even index so what i am going to do is so let's say if i have uh, 3 comma uh, 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 so i will take the odd sum odd sum which will be the uh, index the odd indexes so here odd indexes will be i will write the indexes against them also so uh, indexes will be 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 yes so uh, at uh, the odd index which is 1 that is 4 so i'll add 4 with uh, index 3 which is 7 so the answer will be 11 and for uh, similarly for even sum what i will do is i will take even number so 0 is an even number so 2 plus this 2 is the even number so it will be 5 plus uh, then 4 is also an even number so i will take 9 also so, so 9 so this will give me um, 16 right so uh, this part is elements and then this part is index so this is what happening is this is what we are going to do so i'll write public static void main the fixed syntax string r right now i will create an array so let's say int m of okay so new int and now i can give the size so let's say i'm giving the size 5 for now and now i will fill this array so i uh, i will fill this so index is starting from 0 and then index will go till five, less than 5 so it is 4 right so it will go till 4 and then I will use that index and then I am giving it random number. So int uh, math dot random function and let's say 10, random of 10 and plus 1. So the value should never be 0. So I am uh, adding 1 uh, to random of 0 to 9. So this, this function returns a decimal value between 0 and 1. And then we multiply it with 10 so we get a random of 0 to 9 so i will explain this in detail in the upcoming lectures also so we have filled the array now i am going to uh, take the odd CR sum and even sum so i will create a for loop first so for loop and i equals 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus and now i need to integer values also so int uh, odd sum comma okay i'll also assign the values also odd sum and even sum equals zero so we have odd sum and even sum starting as zero now i'll check if i equal i modulo 2 is double equals to zero so if uh, i divide i with 2 and the remainder is zero that means it's an uh, even index so i have to i have to add it to the even sum so even sum plus is equals to uh, m of i right and then i'll use continue here and between this i'll use odd sum plus equals to m of right and uh, with this i also i'll also print the uh, value so element plus i plus one plus semicolon and then the values so i'm printing the values and then i'll print here the uh, even sum plus even sum and the odd sum also so i'll just copy paste it odd sum okay so it is fine let's just run this so if i run this it shows me the element 1 is 10 element 2 is 1 element 3 is 6 5 and 6 
so even sum we are getting 22 so even is 10 6 and 6 which is correct so 10 plus 6 is 16 plus 6 is 22 so uh, the uh, index indexing wise the even sum is this and the odd sum is 1 plus 5 so that is correct but uh, if we are going uh, it as element wise so for element wise the first element and the second element we have to take care so we can simply do this so if i modulo 2 is not equals to 0 then we can add the elements uh, number wise instead of index wise so now this is the first element this is the third and this is the fifth so one uh, have 9 plus 10 plus 7 so 9 plus 10 is 19 plus 7 is 26 so this time odd sum is 26 and then uh, uh, the second and fourth element is 2 plus 2 so 2 plus 2 is 2 so this is how we do it element number wise and uh, the last one was uh, element index wise so this is the uh, array odd and even sum